Thank you. Our today's topic is sequences. A sequence is simply a set of number in a particular order or a set of numbers which follows a pattern. Sequence ke liye humne padha tha ke sequence ek set of numbers ka ek khas order hai, ek khas tartib hai, ya phir numbers ka ek khas pattern hai, jisko hum observe karte hai, to hume pata chalta hai ke اس میں کیا خاص ترتیب ہے جس کی وجہ سے یہ پیٹرن ڈیویلپ ہو رہا ہے جنریٹ ہو رہا ہے اور بنتا جا رہا ہے ان سیکونس ریپیٹیشنز آر الاؤڈ اس میں بار بار ریپیٹیشنز ہو سکتی ہیں اور آرڈر ڈرز میٹر آرڈر جو ہے وہ خاص طور پر میٹر کرتا ہے آرڈر کو پڑھنے اور دیکھنے کے بعد ہی ہم سمجھ سکتے ہیں کہ آرڈر ہمیں کیا اس کا ڈیزائن یا اس کا کیا اس کا جنریٹ کرنے کا بتا رہا ہے کہ کس طرح سے یہ سیکونس کریئٹ ہوا ہے کس طرح سے ایک سیکونس بنا ہے you can see on my first slide first number is one one plus four gives us five five plus four nine four plus nine plus four thirteen thirteen plus four seventeen seventeen plus four twenty one 21 plus 4, 25. Each time we are simply adding 4 and we are getting the next term. It means starting from first term, we are getting the next term by only simply adding 4. By observing the pattern, by observing the sequence, we understand what is, is this is just a simple example of a sequence. یہ ایک سیمپل سی اگزمپل ہے اسے ہم نے غور سے دیکھا ہے تو ہم نے دیکھا اس میں سیکونس ہمیں کیا بتاتا ہے ہمیں ہر ایک ٹرم میں پلس فور کرنے سے نیکس ٹرم مل رہی ہے اسی طریقے سے ہم ڈیفرنٹ ڈیفرنٹ کوئسٹنز میں اکارڈنگ ٹو آر بوک دیکھیں گے کہ کیسے ہمیں کوئسٹنز میں نیکس ٹرم یا پریویس ٹرم ملتی ہے this is a very simple example of a sequence another good example if you think about the natural numbers if we start from one we can get two only simply adding one. It means we, for natural numbers, we can get a next term simply adding one to the previous one. Let's see our questions according to our topic. Next, please. Next. Sequence. This is a question from your book. Question number three, fill in the missing numbers in these sequences. This is part A, first two terms are missing, then next two terms are written here. You can see 49 and 53. These are two conjective terms, though conjective terms are missing. This we observe, we can we can conclude that the rest of the terms are missing. 49, 53, then term is again missing, then 61. If we look at this question, this question is showing us an order which is increasing. Like 49, we have added something plus or add something to it, which we have 53. Let's see here. The two conjunctive terms we have got, we will take both of them. And what is the plus that we have checked, so that we will know the next term. 53 kaise aai hai or here you can see 49 plus 4 gives us 53. In other way we can do it like this way 53 minus 49 difference is 4. It means to get the new term, to get the new term we will add 4. To get the previous term we will subtract 4. What is rule which we observe here? Hamne yahaan pe kya rule observe kiya hai is question mein? By adding 4 we will get the next term. By subtracting 4, we will get the previous term. Because question is showing us uh, ascending order. Question may numbers are in ascending order, mein, but we are looking at the numbers. add we add the numbers, we simply get the next terms. Milti Let's see what is our solution. Here you can see, from 49 and 53, we got the point that we need to plus to get the 
next term so what we did first we complete our number like this way i hope so you are getting 49 plus 53 how we get it 49 plus 4 is equal to 53 53 plus 4 gives 57 same way we can get the next 61 then 61 plus 4 Then six sixty four one plus four gives sixty five. Sixty five plus four gives sixty nine. To get the previous terms, we subtract what we did. Forty nine minus five four. Forty nine minus four gives us forty five. Forty five minus four gives us forty one. Let me repeat my words again. If my voice is not clear to you, by adding four we will get next terms by subtracting 4 we will get previous term 41 plus 4 45 45 plus 4 49 49 plus 4 53 in the same way we can keep on getting the next terms i hope you understand what is the rule rule is here by adding 4 we will get next term by subtracting 4 we will get previous terms from where we get the number 4 by the two consecutive numbers given in the questions from by observing 49 plus 4 gives 53 that's why we come to know that 4 is the required number which is going to be add in each term to get the next term hope it is clear now next next please b part of the question number 3 98 107 then few terms are missing here here you can see the question part is showing us a sending order so it means some number should be add to get the new term here you can see 98 Plus nine is equal to one zero seven. In other words, we can see one zero seven. How we got one zero seven? One zero seven subtract ninety eight. Difference is nine. It means if we want to get the next term, we will add, and if we want to get the previous term, we will subtract. What is the rule here, which we finalize after? After observing the question, by adding nine, we will get next terms. By subtracting nine, we will get previous terms. So, let's start from the first term, which is given in our question. Ninety-eight plus nine gives one zero seven. One zero seven plus nine gives Hundred and sixteen. Then next two consecutive terms are already given, but how we got it? One hundred and sixteen plus nine, one hundred and twenty-five. One hundred and twenty-five plus nine is equal to one hundred and thirty-four. We will keep on adding the number to get the next numbers. One hundred thirty-four plus nine, one hundred and forty-three. Plus nine hundred and fifty-two. The same way we will keep on adding the number, and we can get the next terms easily. Next, please. See part. You can see first three terms are missing here, and three conjunctive terms are given. Then again, a term is missing at the end. By observing the pattern. This pattern is showing us a descending order. Greater term is in the beginning, then another one, then smaller one also. Here we can see how we got thirty-two. Forty-three minus eleven, we get thirty-two. Or in other words, to get thirty-two, we add eleven to the twenty-one. It means if we want to get the in descending order, if we want to Get the terms. We will use this rule by subtracting eleven. 
we will get the next terms by adding 11 we will get the previous term why this rule is like this way because this question is showing us order which is descending it means first three terms those are missing will be greater than the 43 so simply what you can do to get the numbers 43 you can see if you want to fill the missing terms 43 plus 11 gives 54 54 plus 11 gives 65 and 65 plus 11 gives 76 in this way you can simply get your numbers to get the last term which is missing here 21 minus 11 gives 10 so you can get understanding about this way it's up to you the way which is convenient for you if you want to subtract the terms to get the terms you can go with this one if you want to add you can start in this way also but the rule is subtracting 11 we will get the next terms because question is showing us descending order and by adding 11 we will get the previous term how can we decide which term will the first term to conclude the question the given terms gives us the clue from where we can start like here 43 is the number which can give us by adding 11 the, these three missing terms in the beginning and by subtracting 11 we can get the last term of the given sequence i hope it is clear to you all next please This is question number four of your sequences. This is an eight by eight grid and they said answer the following questions. But A part is saying, color the multiples of seven. What we learned about the multiples yesterday in our last lecture, multiples are the numbers. Or a multiple, what we learned about the now multiple, a mul number that can be divided exactly by another number is a multiple of that number. Or simply, in other words, we can say multiples are the numbers when we recall in our memory the table of the given number, whatever the answers are, the multiples of the given. Like question is asking about to color the multiples of seven. We will recall in our memory the table of seven, which will give us all the answers which is required here. Now, another part is saying, let in the next slide, I'll show you how to color or shade it. Next slide, please. B part is saying here, yeah, if you continue the sequence, would you, would 100 be the, in the sequence or uh, पूछ रहे हैं कि क्या हम 100 को इस सीक्वेंस में लेंगे जिसमें 7 के मल्टीपल्स आते हैं लेट्स सी अभी हम इसको सॉल्व करते हैं तो आईडिया हो जाएगा इस 105 इन द सीक्वेंस हाउ डू यू नो क्या ये हमारे पास नंबर्स 105 जो है 7 के मल्टीपल्स में आता है लेट्स सी हाउ कैन वी गेट द सॉल्यूशन प्लीज नेक्स्ट स्लाइड Next, please. Next. Next, please. See, slide is showing us color multiples of seven. You can see that simply we can color like this way. One way is that start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh is the number which should be shaded because seven is a multiple of a seven. Then skip eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is the number which is the multiple of seven. Then fifth skip 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. 21 is the multiple of seven shaded. 
28 20 is the multiple of 7 so color it 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 is the required number color it 36 37 38 39 40 41 skip all those numbers those are not in the multiples of 7 42 is the number which is the multiple of 7 Recall your table of multiples. All the answers which after recalling you will understand that these are the multiples of 7. Skip 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 49 is the number which is the multiple of 7. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Skip all these numbers. 56 is the number which is the multiple of 7. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. 63 is the number of multiple of 7. And skip 64. All those numbers, those are the multiples of 7. You are to color it. B part, if you continue the sequence, it would 100 be in the sequence? No, because if we divide 100 by 7, we will get our remainder 2. Only numbers those have remainder 0 are the multiple of 7 here. So let's see the C part. If 105 in the sequence, how do you know? Yes. How they are asking, how do you know? Because we divide 105 by 7 and remainder is 0. It means it is the multiple of 7. Yes, 100, 05, 105 is the multiple of 7. I hope you understand it must color your whatever you want, color you want you can color it only color your multiples of 7 in this grid next please i hope it is clear to you all next please now here you can see question number 5 what is the next number in the sequence how do you know? Sequence is given us that is 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Sequence is showing us descending order. To find out what number should be subtracted to get the next term, let's see. Take first two conjective terms, 8 and 6, or you can find the difference between the two numbers in this way that if we want to jump back to 6, what should be subtracted? Here you can see if we take the first term 8 and we subtract 2, we will get the second term 6. Or in other words, if 8 is the first term and we will subtract the second term 6, we will get the difference of 2. It means if we have next term the given a first two conjective terms on the difference liye hai to hame pata chala ke first term ke baad next term hame hasil karne ke liye 2 minus karna pada hai isme phir again we will observe the sequence clearly 8 minus 6 8 minus 2 will be 6 6 minus 2 will be 4 4 minus 2 will be 2 2 minus 2 will be 0 0 minus 2 will be minus 2. They said, what is the next number in the sequence? It means, what is our rule? By subtracting 2, we will get the next terms. So, our next term is, after that, 8 minus, 8 minus 2, 6. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. 0 minus 2 will be minus 2. We will write it with the symbol of the negative because after subtracting, we will keep on subtracting. We will get, keep on getting the negative terms. I hope it is clear to you all. Next, please. This question is a little bit, I think, interesting for you. See, a sequence, because I hope so you get the understanding of sequence, how you are 
observing and how you people are defining the rule to find the next or the previous terms let's see this question because in this question they gave us a statement a sequence starts at 400 ek sequence hai jo 400 se start hota hai and 70 is subtracted each time aur ye khud hi hame bata rahe hain isme ki 70 ko har dafa har martaba next term hasil karne ke liye humne subtract kiya hai it means jab hum isko subtract karte jayenge to phir hame ye next descending order ki term deta jayega like backward counting we will get our descending order so let's see first three consecutive numbers are given here 400 400 minus 70 gives 330 330 minus 70 gives 260 so by observing pattern we can understand and we can get the values they said what are the first two numbers in the sequence that are less than 0 लेस देन जीरो के लिए हम इसको जब तक सब्ट्रैक्ट करते रहेंगे जब तक हमारे पास नेगेटिव में टर्म्स नहीं आ जाती अकॉर्डिंग टू रूल दे गेव अस ईच टाइम दे आर गेटिंग द नेक्स्ट टर्म बाय सब्ट्रैक्टिंग सेवेंटी फोर हंड्रेड माइनस सेवेंटी इज इक्वल टू थ्री थर्टी वी विल कीप ऑन सब्ट्रैक्टिंग सेवेंटी इन ईच टर्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट टर्म वॉज फोर इन दिस फर्स्ट टर्म वॉज फोर हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड माइनस 70 gives 330 330 minus 70 gives 260 260 minus 70 gives us 190 again subtract 70 from 190 190 minus 70 gives 120 120 minus 70 gives 50 then here you can see positive terms after this if we are keep on subtracting we can get a negative terms like in the previous question we get minus 2 so let's see 50 minus 70 gives mi minus 20 then again from minus 20 subtract 70 means gives us minus 90 the last two terms which we get are less than 0 how can we say that these are less than 0 because the term or the numbers having negative sign are less than 0 hamesha yaad rakhe jo numbers plus mein hote hain wo zero se greater hote hain aur jo numbers ke sath subtraction ka sign ho ya negative symbol aata hai wo numbers hamare paas less than zero value rakhte hain so is question may by observing pattern the term will be minus 20 and minus 90 what was the condition of the question they said two numbers find out karne hain jo less than 0 50 was the term which was having the symbol plus 50 aise term thi jiske sath symbol plus ka tha lekin minus 20 aur minus 90 ye do terms hain jinke sath symbol ka sign माइनस का है दे आर शोइंग दैट दीज आर द टर्म्स लेस देन जीरो आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल नाउ दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे